So this video is called How to Think Like a Midfielder. You know, the great thing about being soccer is you're not a robot. It's fun to watch robots play soccer, but you're not a robot. And what I mean is, there's no scripted plays like in football or basketball. You've got to come up with it by yourself. You have to use your brain. You have to think. So this is your team. Wait, that's not a real team. Because on no team are people all the same like that. Teams are really more like this. Lots of different personalities and colorful characters. Here's a Lego version of that. Finally, here's a soccer team with lots of personalities. Here's the personalities on your team. And there's only one ball. Everyone wants to share it. Everyone wants it. So that's your job. To do the dirty work. Get everyone their touches. Think of your teammates as crying babies that need to be fed. You have to pass the ball to them to feed them. And they're still going to cry. Keep feeding them. Still crying. So you pass and you pass, and you pass. And then behind you, there's defenders. Don't get the ball very often. You have to feed them too. They're all lonely. So you back pass to the defenders to keep them happy. And then in front of you, there's strikers. Strikers are attackers. They're like tigers born to attack. Strikers, they think they can do it all by themselves. They can take on anybody. Tigers don't know how to play ping pong. So you have to train them. And train them. And train them. By when they give you that ball back, you give it back to them and reward them. And soon you have a soccer playing tiger. Here's some soccer ping pong, well, tennis, and here's some soccer volleyball. The point is, if you share that ball all around, soon you're going to have lots of happy babies around you. It's almost Easter, so let's have some happy Easter babies. You have to think ahead in soccer as you're moving into the space, moving into that hole. You can't go too far or you'll go down the hole. Here's a fire engine that went down the hole. The fact that it's a fire engine is relevant. You'll see why in a second. Because as you move into a hole, you need to already have a sense of where you're likely to go with the ball if you get it passed to you. It's like knowing your escape routes in case of a fire. You have to be the first to smell smoke. You have to know how to get out of there. You have to feel, is there room here to attack? But if this line of attack is too guarded, too crowded, too busy, too clogged up. No, wait, those are actual clogs. I mean clogged up like a sink. Yeah, that's better. Too narrow. Not going to fit. Nowhere to go. You've got to watch out for being surrounded by penguins. No, surrounded by defenders. But that's the wrong sport. Ah, there we go. And that's Kobe Jones. He was always surrounded by defenders. So, you have to seek out the space. Be an astronaut. Ah, space. Space! Likely, Space is in the other direction, sideways and backwards. That's backwards on a horse. Here's backwards on a bike. You'll have to back pass, but not like Gerard back pass to Drogba with a death pass. Mm, funnier to see it backwards on a horse. Anyway, you're making your great escape. Your great getaway from trouble. Slipping away from pressure. It'll seem like you have eyes in the back of your head. 
That's weird, but this is even weirder. That's a tattoo. You know, they score in rugby just as much as they do in soccer. And they're not even allowed to pass that ball forwards. So you've got to be creative. Use your look away passes like this. Look one way and pass the other. Like this. Those are all basketball. Don't they do this in soccer? Oh, yes, they do. You've got to fool them to go the wrong way. Like this. Or really get them wrong way. Like this. You've got to have desire to play. No matter what the conditions. You've got to run hard. Harder than that. Yeah, run that hard. Remember the rope. Always be in the play a rope's distance away. Every single play. Because you can't leave that tiger all by himself up there getting lonely. You've got to go play with him and have fun.